Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Farming Simulator 19 gameplay trailer. This is the second one in the series and this one is all about tending to the animals. So as you've just seen, uh, it's showing off all the different animals which are going to be in the game. That is basically cows, sheep, pigs, horses and chickens and all of the products which each one of those can produce. Now obviously a horse doesn't really produce a product, it's more for transportation and as a hobby to, to ride it and stuff. But even so, it's a nice feature to have in the game. So we're just going to run through it and we're just going to really point out things which maybe aren't totally obvious, but more importantly, the different machines and things that we see within the video. So first of all, it is pretty obvious. It's a female farmer on a horse. We've got some birds in the background just there, some crows or something. Uh, we've got some boats and stuff. I think this is the Felsburn map. I think it is. Anyway, let's move on. So I think, I'm not convinced, but I have a suspicion that um, the animation of the horses have improved since the first time we saw them. They just look a bit more realistic now. It might just be me, but well, take a look for yourself. I, I think it looks better than it used to. It might be exactly the same, but anyway, yeah, please do post your opinion down below. So first of all, we've got the cows. Here, with, here they are. Let's just progress, and obviously we, have, we need to feed them. So to feed them, uh, in this video at least, they're using the Strautman VM1702 Double Fast Cut Feed Mixer. In fact, if I just go back a bit, we should see it a bit better. There you go, in fact, you can make it out there, Strautman 1702. It's a pretty big thing, actually. So it's nice to uh, have access to one of those. Uh, it, it's quite a fast-paced video, so it's quite easy to uh, miss a few things here. Anyway, and here's how I feed them. Yes, it goes straight into the feed trough. Next we have a John Deere front loader attached to a John Deere tractor and which one thing you might not know straight away is the Flegel bale trailer just there. It's a good way of transporting the bales. I think this is the one which we saw in the first gameplay trailer uh, which is designed basically to not only carry bales but to actually keep them really secure on the trailer because uh, I think it's the one which has sides. It might not be so uh, don't quote me on that but there is definitely one in the game which is like that. So, yeah, it's a sole bell spike. And in case you're wondering what the tractor is, basically it's a John Deere 6145M and the front loader is a 643R, which is, uh, I think, the only one which is going to be in the game. Although, yeah, again, it might not be. So, yes, there we go. A nice John Deere setup. Carrying a straw bale there. Very nice indeed. And uh, actually, is this part of the trailer just at the top right corner here, which is lifted up? It might be, because obviously it's so zoomed in some of these shots that it is quite hard to actually uh, make out what different things are. Even so, yeah, lovely tractor, really nice, got the cows in the background there. Yes, it's Felsbrunn, you can see the castle on the top of the hill there. And the power lines which run through uh, the map. So, yes, I think I have uh, got things right so far. Let's progress. They give me milk, I can sell. So you probably remember FS11. If you haven't played FS11, well, I can explain it to you now. Basically, what happened was a milk tanker came to your farm to pick up the milk from your cows. This idea appeared to be scrapped completely. However, I think what's happening is it's now been brought back, but not quite the same. I think you actually have to transport it yourself. I'm not saying that a milk tanker isn't going to come to your farm. You might be able to set it up to do that. But from what I can make out from looking at this video, you can now buy a milk tanker and you can transport it to the milk cell point. Of course, there was some other hints of this in a previous video where you could actually see a milk price in the, uh, basically the crop type prices list. There's probably a more technical term for that. The commodity prices list, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. If we move on, you can see we've got the MAN truck just there and the trailer. Now, I don't actually know what brand of trailer this is, but if I was to have a guess, I would say it's a Wilson trailer. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, this is all about speculating really, because if you don't have the facts, then we might as well just try and guess. One thing which I absolutely love about this is the reflection in the front of that tanker. So nice. I don't know if it's like a live reflection where it's actually reflecting what it can technically see. Um, but even so, it looks fantastic. There's a better view of that. It looks like it... Oh no, maybe not, because you can't quite see, well no obviously you can't see the cab can you you can't see the cab reflecting in there but even so it's a nice reflection as reflections go uh, the point of it is it's it's showing up a different material so a very reflective material uh, I don't know what it'd be 
Stainless steel? Not sure. There we go with the speculation again. Now let's see my pigs. Now this is definitely a Wilson trailer because it says it on the mud flaps. So there we go. Or the mist mats. Uh, so many different terms for, for the uh, different parts of a machine. But yep, I think you can even see the pigs in there. Yes, you can see them being transported. It's a Wilson trailer. I don't have any more information about it because it's not been added to the website yet. But I think really it's fairly self-explanatory. It's a Wilson livestock trailer designed for carrying multiple numbers of cows, pigs, sheep, that sort of stuff. Another good shot of it. There's the horse again. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks to be so much more realistic now, the way it gallops. And some pigs, if we didn't miss it there. It's so fast-paced. Uh, I suppose it's the thing that makes it catchy. A very uh, punchy video. So yeah, the pigs wallowing in the mud just there. And this is the grade A pig food. I've got what they need. You certainly have. They're going to love that. Now this was uh, leaving me scratching my head because I'm not too familiar with Voucher Tractors, but I think, let's see if I got it right, I think it's a Voucher T-Series. If it's not a T-Series, it's an N-Series, but I think it's a T. And obviously it's got the stole front loader, and I believe it is the stole pallet fork as well. In the background there, you can see a bell shredder. We're going to come onto that in a minute, but that is actually a, uh, a Wazi. I hope I've pronounced that right. The Wazi SS250. But as I say, we'll come on to that in a second and look at it in more detail. There we go. Right, so this is attached to the New Holland L218 skid steer loader. It is the Warzy DE250 and it's actually an SS250, the SS standing for skid steer. Also in the game, we've got the DE551FL, which is the front loader version, and also the DE551TL, which is the telehandler version. But of course, yeah, this is the SS250. I'm guessing it's physically smaller because it's a smaller machine. And yep, yeah, what it's going to do here is shred the bale. And yeah, you can see it's putting the bedding down. But no, very nice. I think it is nice that you can actually now attach a bale shredder to a skid steer cause, or, or to a front loader or a telehandler because it really does allow you to not only save money because you can have smaller equipment for different machines but also diversify a bit. Because um, you could always shred your bales but it meant having the really big trailed one. It was pretty expensive as well, I think. So yeah, just a nice expansion of the fleet there. Time to find my sheep. Here they are. We found them in the pen where they should be. So they're eating grass, which you can uh, see there. Cute, right? Oh, certainly. Yeah, I, I love uh, I love animals. They're very nice. Uh, thanks for the wool. Yeah, that's interesting. I wonder what the wool price will be in 19. Hmm. I'll have to wait and see. I've got chickens too. They seem happy. And happy chickens equals lots of eggs. Uh, this is, again, a nice feature. It looks like they now get packed up in cardboard boxes. Instead of just them just being sort of strewn around the map everywhere, they're just dotted around and ready to be trodden on. They're actually packed up and put into these boxes. I don't know how you transport them. I suppose, if I was to make a wild guess, you'd pick up the boxes as they're ready, like you would do with the wool but you do it by hand and you put them in the pickup or whatever you want to transport them in and then take them to the sell point, I assume. That is the way I would guess it's going to be done. So that's an improvement, certainly. Uh, crop, yes, no, not crop, sorry. The foliage bending, you can see as the horse walks through, it is actually flexing and disturbing the grass. Nice feature. Let's take care of the rest of my horses. Yeah, it's trying to make out what tractor that is. I am 95% sure that it is a Voucher T-Series. This is probably the moment when somebody says, nope, that's definitely an N-Series. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, yes, as you can see on the back of that, we've got a bale, I think it's a hay bale, on what essentially is a bale fork, transport fork. In the front of that, we've got a pickup. I'm guessing that's going to be a lizard pickup. And behind it... I don't know, but I think it's a horse box. We have two bells on there, so you can carry two, that's very nice. Filling up the trough with feed. 
and into the horse box to go. So as we can make out on the back of that, it says Bachman, Big Master, it says on the side. Um, yeah, and it's a horse box, and I think you can see two in there. Fairly sure, there's, yeah, there's two horses in there. Yep, and that was it on the pickup again, driving them to wherever they need to be. I like the attention to detail here, with the hitch and the jockey wheel, and all the braking mechanisms and stuff. That's very nice. Time to go back home. And there's a dog. <laughs> it's it's a happy dog. Uh, it didn't say that though, did it? No, it's a happy dog. I can add that in. And it's got its feed, its food, I should say. Yeah, and it's got its ball and its kennel, little dog house. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's another expansion to the game. It's nice to have dogs in there. And that is the end. Farm like never before. And there we have, once again, uh, the John Deere with the front loader and the horse in kind of the foreground. So it's sort of level with the tractor. So there we go. The uh, the video all about the uh, the animals, which are going to be in Farming Simulator 19. Very interesting video. I love how that's been produced. I think, yeah, it's definitely worthy of a congratulations to the uh, those who made it. Um, I don't know if it's actually a team within Giants or if it is just one person within Giants who does it. But anyway, very good. I do like that. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.